Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch, and today I've, I'm back with bringing you another art tutorial, and this time we're going to talk about backgrounds. I'm terrible at backgrounds, so I'm like the worst person to help you with backgrounds, but I'm going to try anyways. Yep. Okay, uh, so we have a picture. It is a non-existent picture, but we're going to pretend we have a picture here. And we're going to want to draw it, and we're going to want a background. Now you can, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna open up a picture of me. Yeah, here I am. Aren't I adorable? Isn't I the most adorable? All right, we're gonna take that and we're gonna drop it right here. Look, here I am. I need a background. Let's give me a background. This is. I think this is a little bigger too. Bam. All right, any background? Let's give me a background. Let's go over to the materials. We're gonna look at a couple of cheaty backgrounds and honestly, uh, it's only cheating if you are copying somebody else's work and claiming it as your own. Everything else, you're just utilizing your tools and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So Clip Studio Paint has some free backgrounds you can use. There's like nature backgrounds, which I absolutely love. Look how pretty that sky is. That is amazing. Um, we can do like this one. Uh, our grandma's walking in this pretty little like forest at sunset or park at sunset. Da -da -da -da. Uh, on top of that, they also have 3D backgrounds. Do I have any of them downloaded so I don't have to download one? Yes, I have a kitchen. Let's throw me in a kitchen. Give it a give it a hot tick, because I gotta load. It's okay, don't worry. Alright, so we can move this around. And we can also Okay. I guess we're just gonna zoom in through the wall. Or not. I have a ha the stairwell. All right, here's a better one. We have a stairwell. It is open and if not, it has a way to open the said walls. And also let's change the colors. I got the wood. Alright, that one. That one opens as well. Alright. And we adjust and we have Hergama in this area. Bam. We would have to adjust Hergama's colors to match the area, but you get the idea. So we just throw in a background. Now let's say you wanted it toned, you can just easily go up to tone and tone the damn thing. Or you can right click and do uh, LT conversion layer, which I'm going to show you how to do later with an actual photo. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's go over here to Google and let's find um, Japan Park. Um, now, for the love of God, don't do this in an actual comic because this is where cheating actually comes into play, but it's to give you an idea. Use this your own photos if you can. Let's just uh, save this image. Open. Bam. Uh, it even has the watermarks. Perfect. God, I can't, like, grab any of my keys on. Alright. So. Why don't you let me adjust you? Okay, now you are being weird. Alright, 
So at this point, we have a image. As I mentioned in my um, comic baking thing, you can hit this right here and you can suddenly have like a toned image. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is do LT conversion of layer. LT conversion of layer. And that's right clicking on the layer, LT conversion of layer. Now, usually the preview isn't selected, but we're going to select it. It's going to run the computer a little bit slower because this thing likes to eat up shit. And we can extract after polarization, which will give us tones. We can do threshold, fill in blacks. Adjust the threshold. And we can do tone work too. Well, I'm actually going to remove the extract, but... Tone work. Tone work, please. I'm going to adjust this to 80. Look at that. Click it. Alright, and this will add tone work based on the light color. It does take a moment for it to kind of like load on in. And bam. Um, there are manga artists that do this. They take their own photos. Um, Clamp does this. You can really see it in, uh, I want to say it was X99, but in, what is it, Seven Gate? You could really notice it when they just have, like, a whole bunch of photos in there. And then, like, I could even do this for myself. It's... We're going to do preview because I want to see what I'm looking at. Let's remove the tone work. Let's remove some of this threshold. Eh, maybe a little more. So just kind of adjust things to where you want it to look like, or... Click, click, click. There we go. Hit OK. So now what this does is not only, because we still have this layer there, not only does it give us a white layer, which actually that looks really cool. <laughs> um, it gives you multiple tone layers. So you have the tone, and then you have like your black and white. Uh, same with this, you have the, the back and then the black and white. And if we really want, we can adjust this. But I'm not going to, I'm not even going to worry about it. So there, now we have like our gamma in this toned picture and if we want to add more tones to her we can yeah whatever so yeah you get the general idea of it so that's like a simple background uh, that you can do if you take photos. Say you take a picture of like your park or whatever. There you go. You have an easy way to convert that into a picture without actually having to draw it. Now let's say, you know, you want to draw a background. And you don't want to be a cheater cheater pumpkin eater. <laughs> uh, this has a perspective tool. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to do a layer frame a uh, ruler frame and create perspective ruler. I'm going to do a one point perspective. And for those of you who don't know how perspective tools work, and mind you, I'm in operations in order to edit this, uh, you have the horizon line, and this is where your, your eye goes. And this is kind of the angles you want to work with. Uh, this one allows you to adjust like 
even more angles, but if you're starting out, this is really not what you want to get into. So here we go, we have our gamma walking down a road. Now, you're, this is going to be like clipped to this, like these lines are going to be very attached to these, so I can't like squiggle it. It's going to just want to follow these lines. So we'll make this the road. And we'll have a little sidewalk here. And it's going to come down a little bit here. Oops. It's really not good to draw with such large lines when you're trying to do finer detail. Alright, we have the thickness of the sidewalk. We're going to have a building edge here. And that's all going to point towards this centerpiece right here. This centerpiece is where everything is aiming towards. So, you know, we have a door here. Do, do, do. Maybe we'll and bam! Now we have a somewhat resembling a street corner. Uh, you're gonna want to turn this uh, perspective layer off if you want to do things that aren't straight up and down and towards this center point. So let's say you wanted to have like a bowed bottom to these things, you're gonna need to change that. Let's say you want to like kind of curve this in a little bit, you know. There's some clouds going on back here. More, more leaves. Whatever, you get the general gist. Um, and that's how you do a one point perspective. And you can do it from any which way or drawing whatever you do desire. Uh, we could try a two-point perspective, which I have not done in a long time, so go away. Go away. Yo, you can also do frame over here, like, um, new frame layer, create perspective, and that's just by right-clicking. Let's do two-point perspective. So, two-point means it's gonna come up one, down the other. Um, let's move this slightly off the edge. Yeah. Slightly off the edge. Meow. Alright, so we're still on the horizon. This is a horizon. Let's say we're gonna do a building, because buildings are the easiest, because they're just squares. And this is gonna follow towards this point and this other point. Let's say we have a row that's kinda like going this way. Meow. We're gonna have a road that's coming this way. Meow, meow. In fact, it's gonna keep going this way. Meow, meow, meow. And over here we have like a big building because buildings are big. And you're gonna wanna aim towards there. So basically, you can have angles go in this direction, uh, this direction, this direction, or up and down. So this one's going in this direction, this one's going in this direction, and you got up and down. You also have side by side. So you have this way, this way, uh, this way. <laughs> but you'd have to be on that layer because you're basically going to one of these two points. And there we have like an idea of how like a two-point perspective works. Um, we can also have it from like different angles like let's say I don't know but you kind of get the general idea. So you're following these angles. You got three angles to work with. This is this. this. Um, and we can try to do a three point, but I'm going to tell you right now, I am terrible at three point. I've only successfully done three point once and even that I would be hard pressed to call that successful. So 
So we will try one to give you an idea of how three point works. I guess we'll try there. Oof. Alright, so... Lindsay, how do I want this to look? technically three point it's super cheap three point but we're doing an up so we're angling it up this way we're angling it over this way we're angling it over this way you yeah, like really exaggerated angles because I didn't set it up properly hey anyway, you know what let's actually just set it up properly all right this is way too close so get out of here get out get off the page way off the page I still have you crisscross in the middle. We're gonna have you crisscross over here. So again, you're working with angles. So now we have the street here. We got like a nice warped angle going on here. This is probably like way too big fat to be a building, but you know what? Like I said, I'm not very good at three point. I don't like three point. I don't use it. There's very, very few reasons why you would want to use a three point. It gives you nice dynamicism, but at what cost? Really, at what cost? Because what three point is, is again, you're, you have now more angles to work with. Not only are you stretching side by side. So like this one, you're just looking straight down. That's the easiest one. This one, you're pulling things in two different directions. You got, you got it coming over here. You got it coming over here. And then this one, not only do you have it coming over here and over here, you also have it coming up and down. So you have like this way, this way, this way, and then this way. Uh, and this one is fine to do. It takes a lot of practice and there's even like four or five ten point eight Like you can go more and more. They're challenging and a pain and honestly these two are the only two you'll ever need. This one's fine for straight on views and this one's good for editing. Oh. <sighs> that being said, um, I'm gonna go back to sticking with Something like this. And then just... Giving some of these colors onto myself. Then I fit more into the picture. And we'll even edit the picture to give me a shadow. Bam. Also, this is one point perspective. <laughs> But bam, that's it. That's how you do backgrounds. It sucks, that's why everyone hates doing backgrounds. Except for the elite few. And if you're one of those, congratulations. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me on this. I'm sorry if it was boring, but I hope it was somewhat informative. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. And be sure to do all that YouTube shit of 
you know, subscribing and sharing and commenting and belling and let's see if we can't get me up to uh, a thousand subscribers so I can finally get that community tab. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.